Hello manifestors. Let's get started. What is critical thinking? The death of Socrates. The leaders of Athens sentenced the greatest mind of his generation to death. Socrates was to ingest hemlock. A horrific way to die. The philosopher's entire body would become paralyzed before his bladder would be overwhelmed by toxicity. Socrates would experience frothing at the mouth and respiratory distress. Finally, a massive seizure would lead to death. Many accused Socrates of not believing the gods of the city, introducing new gods, and corrupting the youth. He taught them ideas, were not necessarily correct, just because their parents or leaders said it was so. Socrates told his students to examine every idea on its merits alone. Socrates taught his students to seek out the truth. Though Socrates died, his students Plato and Aristotle carried this tradition forward. The man was dead, but his legacy remains immortal. The method of inquiry he pioneered is still known as the Socratic method, and it focuses on the development of ideas through constant dialogue. Each argument is teased out and broken down into its underlying assumptions. Each assumption is exposed to ruthless scrutiny no matter who made them and why. Problem solving, critical thinking in the abstract may be interesting, but it does not make the world around us better. We usually apply these time-consuming skills when confronted with a severe problem in need of resolution. Finding a better way of approaching a problem or achieving a goal means little, unless you take steps to apply it practically. Action Steps Let's perform an exercise and see what role critical thinking has played in your life so far and how you can apply it in the future. Take one of the most significant and most difficult decisions you have made in your life. Maybe moving to another state or country, marrying or breaking up with a significant other, or quitting a job. It doesn't matter as long as you had options, and it wasn't easy to choose between them. Next, do the following, write down all the alternatives you had to the decision ultimately made. Write down why you choose one over the other. Were these reasons based on facts you thoroughly researched or on assumptions? What assumptions informed that decision? How do you know these assumptions to be true? Have you examined their validity? Do you make many of your decisions based on unfounded assumptions? What are some examples? When we make decisions, we make many unproven assumptions. Sometimes they are the product of our upbringing or beliefs. For example, in American society, we are taught to pay our debts and emphasize self-sufficiency. This cultural inclination influences some individuals to continue to accrue debts they can't pay, even though filing for bankruptcy would be a much better option. Maybe these ideas were imparted to us by an authority figure. Half the time, we don't even know where they come from. Although it is completely normal to make unfounded assumptions, this tendency can have negative repercussions. It may mean we are making bad decisions based on faulty information. The good news is that it isn't so hard to fix the problem. When we make an important decision, it is worth taking time to examine our assumptions and act based on accurate information and valid arguments. Yes, it involves a bit of extra work. But after all, Socrates died for his right to question falsehoods. Don't we owe him a little extra effort? Hello everyone, it's Chas. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning listener, welcome back. I wanted to do this video because what I'm sharing on my channel may be new to some people. I ask that you don't dismiss what's being shared and don't believe every word that is being shared. I ask that you do your research and come up with your own truth by using critical thinking. I know people have different beliefs and may think the thing shared on this channel is blasphemy. So I'm just asking before you dismiss it that you please really come into this space open-minded and base your decisions on valid information and not faulty information. It could change your life. Thank you so much. And also, the channel has reached over 100 subscribers this week. So, to show my appreciation, I'm doing an ebook giveaway. 
you can choose one of two books. The first one is the collection of Neville Goddard. And the second one is the collection of Louise Hay. In order to have a chance to win, you do need to be subscribed to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram at Climbing Rose Official. And have a valid email because the book um, will be coming from Amazon in the Kindle format. So the details are in the description box. Also, I know the mic quality is not that great. I will upgrade everything as the channel evolves. So thank you so much for understanding. Thank you guys so much for your support. Until next time, take care. Hello, Super Manifestor. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. We always have free tools in the description box to help you with your manifesting needs. Thank you. Until next time.